Hey, hey, hey. This is Dead Hand. I try not to do it like that anymore. Dead Hand playing Magic the Gathering 2014. Expansion. Revenge. We have two matches left. Beat Elspeth. We finally beat Dak last episode. And Nyssa. So we've got the Samurai. Uh, what is it? Bushido deck. And Lords of Darkness. I don't remember which deck that is. So, every time we do random, we get the same like four decks. So let's just get a random one ourselves. Uh, I don't use Garrick's deck almost ever. Let's try that one. I think it's his name. Garak, Loudspeak, right? Bunch of land, and then draw a card for each green creature you control. Uh, I'll probably take a lot of damage at first, but this doesn't seem like too bad of a hand. If I draw a couple small creatures, we are going to be good to go. We're going to be all kinds of Taco Bell up in this place. I sure hope that's the right commercial I'm referencing. Right, good to go. Taco uh, Bell. Some kind of takeout thing? I don't know. I don't know. It was a few years ago. It was a good joke at the time. <laughs> Do you remember those damn commercials though? What's up? I'm so glad that it's not still going. That was super annoying back in the day. <laughs> oh well. So, Sugihara is doing pretty good so far. This one is land, right? Yes. We'll take more land, always. Uh, I think I will take the forest. So, next turn we will pull out our spider. Ugh, I don't like spiders. Sentinel spider. 4-4 four, four with reach and vigilance. Vigilance means it does not tap when it attacks, so it can block the next turn. And Reach means that it can block creatures with flying, even though it does not have flying itself. Destroy target non-creature permanent. <laughs> it's kind of a dick card, but uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll use that next turn. Oh yeah, buddy. So our goal for this episode is to finish the expansion revenge campaign after that we're gonna hit up that sealed deck thing why did he attack Bushido won so it's gonna be a 2-2 two, two. Uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna die but I can't not block there we go I knew that was gonna happen. That's like calling someone's bluff in poker. Like I was pretty sure they had something, but if they didn't, I was gonna double up. Um, so I get one creature and then suck it, your mother. So, <laughs> nature abhors a lot of things. Let's, uh, can Continue. I hope he puts out a creature next time. And then I will use this card to get a 3-3. Three, three, and it will go back to my hand. And I will do it again if they put another creature out. To be honest, I didn't know that this deck, uh, Sugihara's deck, had any kind of direct damage. I know it has red in the deck, but uh, I didn't remember having anything like that. So I really had to see. Whenever you cast a creature spell, put a 3 3 green beast to the blah 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 Sounds good to me. Nah, I mean. Okay, we got a lot of mana, we got some big cards. Let's just last, uh, you know, like one more turn. And I think we'll be good to go.
Yep, took five. No problem. That's no problem at all. Yes. So this one is for each green creature I control. And that costs seven. That would be everything. Let's do this. And then we will destroy... Yeah, that's the special one. Why am I even thinking about it? Then we will destroy that guy. What? Oh, non-creature. Derp. Cancel. Idiot. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and... Shit. We'll do this again. Whatever. To get three counters? This one. <laughs> Duh. Nice. And then this one will... This will fight this guy. We will put... Eh, let's put counters on this. Yes! You can put it on the board! Okay, that was a good turn for me. They have one card and two small creatures. I have three cards and two big creatures. So, that that's going to turn out great for me. What is this crap? Oh, good. Oh, you know what? I can that's non-creature permanent. <laughs> Dead. Land. What I do? I get I got health, right? Land gain 3 health, yes. Creature spells a 3/3 three, three. And a non-creature spell gets plus one counters. So I will destroy this piece of shit. That guy will get counters. Uh, do I go ahead and cast this? I mean, I will lose that card, but I will get another creature and three more counters. Fuck it. Oh yeah. Yeah, now we're gonna attack with two nine nines. I think that sounds a boot, right? Zero cards in his hand. Sugihara. <laughs> yeah, sorry bro. You're dead. Nice. Nice. Turning the tides of battle. Guruk's deck. Uh, I've gotta say... This one card is probably the only reason I am winning and going to win here shortly. Ooh, health. Couple ammo. Put this big ass hoe on the battlefield. Oh man. What is that? Any number of creature cards with total converted mana cost 6 or less and put them into the battlefield? It doesn't seem right. I could put like 5 creatures out, right? I mean, I, I read that correctly. Pretty sure. 0 cards in his hand, 2 creatures to block, they're gonna die. Yeah, buddy! And next turn... He is going to eat it. He is going to have to commit Simpuku? Simpiku? Whatever it is. It's suicide by stabbing yourself. <laughs> oh good, is that that enchantment again? Oh no. Tenza, Goto's Maul. Quick creature is supposed to as long as it's legendary, as long as it's red, it has trample. That's a weird card. Seems very specific. Land. Um. Let's put this 
big ass hoe out. And attack with all. Zero cards in his hand, so I win. Nice. That that match went very well for me. Staff of the Wild. Really? I hate those cards. If you're in a very specific uh, deck where you want to gain life, those are pretty good to have. But if not, uh, they're just kind of little shitty cards. So we're going up against a black deck, so we're going to stay away from black. Um, I don't know if I've used Hall of Champions. That is not Sylvian Might. That's the elf deck. This is not the elf deck. Oops. Um, you know, let's go with Dodge and Burn. Dak was a dick, so we'll use his cards. Ooh, nice little uh, rainbow here. Um, yeah, let's draw a new hand. That seemed a little bit like shit. Um, man, whatever, we'll keep it. Activate. And we have a blue in our hand, so we'll get a red. That was Terramorphic Expanse. Seems to be that's the go-to, uh, like, pick your mana card in the 2014. I remember a long time ago, the, the uh, I think Urza's Saga was an actual block of magic cards. But in the 4th or 5th edition, there's actually, uh, cards like Urza's Mine, Urza's uh... shit what was it? There's three or four of them. Anyway it produces one colorless mana but if you have the other ones I think this is how it works. I could totally be wrong. It's been years since I've seen it. If you have the other ones Urza's Mine, Urza's uh, Strip I think, Urza's other things then Instead of one, you get like three or four mana each time for it. And I think that's pretty sweet. Creatures. Bam. Creatures. Bam. Oh yeah. And then you're going to eat some more, buddy. I did make a deck with all of Urza's. I made an entire colorless deck one time. It was terrible. I mean, granted, I didn't have, like, <laughs> any good cards for it. So, it was expected since it was, like, all commons. But it would have been nice. Would have been nice. Counter target spell converted mana cost four or less. So let's remember to use that. Attack! Yep, Swamp Bull Crew. So far, we're beating Bull Crew. Um, continue, stop timer. Oh, wait, it said four or less, didn't it? Yeah, it's five. Oh, wait, what's this? Can't you, oh, the ah, balls. Never mind, continue. If I had one more damn island. Oh, now there's an island, you dirty hippie. Well, now that I'm all fed up. So what does it say? At the beginning of your upkeep, target player draws a card and loses one life. Awesome. 
Ah, uh, shit. At least that will... Oh, well, he's flying, so it's not like it's going to stop him from attacking. Whatever, skip attack. Now I'm all pissed off. He chose himself, so he lost a life and drew a card. Drew? Yeah, Drew. Hit me for... Oh, I can block. Um... I, uh, I will take five to see if he's going to put another creature out. Yes, he does. Each player loses three life when that thing dies. I would like to kill it anyway. Oh, shit. Oh, not good. All right, well, this is going to be a loss right quick, like. Booyah, give me an Highland. That one looks good to me. Exiles cards from until she uh, until the end of turn. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Uh, yes. Bull crew. Can't cast this card from exile without paying its mana cost. <laughs> I would lose two life because of casting it. Well, that was about a shit use of that card, I'll tell you what. Um. <laughs> fucking A. Whatever. Attack with all. Hopefully, I'll kill that thing. We'll both lose some life. No? Huh. I mean, I could easily get a direct damage spell for five. So, I am okay with that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have taken that card anyway. Lost two life, and then I could have blocked five. I'm an idiot. Oh, well. Good. Is it random? Nope. Okay. I will keep the flying guy. Oh, Storm. I have no clue what Storm means. It is copy for each spell cast before it. Oh. Well, I believe that's game over, yes? I've never seen Storm before. That was pretty weird. I think I could have won had one or two turns gone differently like if I if I just had at the very beginning when I did the terraform uh, land thing or whatever well that's what terraform is um, if I chose an island instead I would have had is that a glitch it keeps going to a different frame one uh, I could have counterspelled that big creature and it would have been completely different uh, that's a black deck. We don't want to use that. Black deck. Let's use Fire Wave. Yeah, let's use Fire Wave. Maybe there aren't as many decks as I thought. So maybe the random actually is random. I just know we have played that Exalt deck like five times already. Any player man does type of interesting. Um, uh, yeah, whatever. Keep hand. All I know is this deck has a lot of direct damage, so that's what I'm going to go with. I'm just going to try to pump in as many hit points, or hit points of, you know what I'm trying to say, as I can. Oh! Knock my headphones off my head. Yeah. I want to finish this guy up, finish this campaign, start that sealed campaign, try something, try something new, awesome, death touch, it can, it can give death touch to another card, that's what I meant, um, ooh, 
Any player may have to deal 5 damage to him, or if no one does, target player draws 3 cards. Okay, so I'm going to use Pillar of Fire. Creature. Huzzah. I'm going to bring this fellow out. This fine young fellow. Attack for 2. Alright, starting off strong. Killed a creature. Gave him 2. 2 points of damage. I've got a way to do more damage and a way to gain extra cards. This is going well so far. Nice, nice. I want to kill that guy. And then he'll take two damage and three from that. So it's five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can hit him for nine. Uh, let's do it. Huzzah. Booyah. Attack with all. Attack. Nice. Okay. Commanding lead in health. But now I kind of gave up a lot of my advantage. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Yes. Oh, God, does that disintegrate? So I can hit him for four. Screw it. Uh, players, bull crew. I guess if I waited a turn, I may have been able to kill him. But he's down to one health. So he has to get two creatures, or at least a way to kill two of my creatures. Well, there we go. Dickbag. Oh, that was all of his mana, though. Alright, nice. Uh, I just want to see how this one works. So, choose a player to draw three cards. I would choose myself... Would you like to have Bradley deal 5 damage to you or let target player draw 3 cards? Let the target player draw 3 cards is what I want. Oh, cool. Okay, that was... That was very simple. Attack! And winner. Aw, oh, yeah! What did I win? Fire Servant. Ooh. It's not a not a super good card, but not that bad. So we have now finished the Revenge Expansion Campaign. So, what is custom game? Two-headed giant or a free-for-all. Awesome. Challenges or sealed play. So, shit, we're already at 20 minutes. Okay, well, next episode, tomorrow, we are going to start the sealed deck uh, campaign, and we will see if we can get a few wins. Uh, I, My other deck was terrible, <laughs> so, uh, to, and I believe there are like 20 spots that you can have a sealed deck, but you have to buy them for like three bucks or a, a buck or something like that. It's kind of ridiculous, but anyway, so... Uh, until next time, we will come back tomorrow. We will begin the sealed deck and hopefully blow through the first couple of matches. Sorry, this is kind of a short uh, episode. Everything went as planned, pretty much. So, I mean, that's that's good, right? So, anyway, until next time, this is Deadhand. Watch out for my next episode, Sealed uh, Campaign. Yeah, yeah!